Well, yeah, it was the last goal in the game in the in the first half of the overtime. Um, it was it was like a, uh, probably a corner, and um, AC wanted to to hit the ball, but I told him to leave it, and then I just ripped the ball and I hit it perfectly. It was very lucky. It was an amazing feeling. We shouldn't go in the in the overtime because we were already leading, but in the end. The only thing, good thing about the game was that we won, and but we, we we know that we have to improve our performance in the next game against San Francisco. Um, yeah, I thought we played very well in the first half. We maintained possession, um, moved the ball well, created some good cha chances. I'd still like to see our finishing be better. We've worked on it all week, uh, but we weren't hitting the target enough. Uh, but we still, had, you know, it was it was uh, we had some very dangerous chances to score. Second half. Um, you know, as we got 20 minutes in, I started, um, basically, we, we've got to rest players. We've got three games in, in six days. Um, so we, you know, started unloading the bench a little more. Um, you know, and I think momentum swung a little bit away, but I wasn't concerned. Um, you know, in the last 10 minutes, you know, I think we used all 22 of our field players today. Um, you know, it was very disappointing then to give up two goals in five minutes. Um, you know, when these players are getting opportunities that, that when they don't get to play much, they need to step up um, and make a, a positive contribution to the team if they want to see more playing time in the future. So we're just going to keep going with what we're doing. Um, I think the positive shows that the, the character we have on our team, you know, to give up two goals in the last five minutes and then turn around and score in overtime. The guys have a very big belief that they will win when we get to overtime. Um, so they showed uh, there, there was definitely some positives came out of it. Um, but also some negatives.